Hello, everyone. Hi. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. And we are live on YouTube as well as we should be streaming through Facebook as well. So say hi when you hop on and let me know you're here if you're watching the replay. Don't forget to also leave a comment and a thumbs up. And thank you for uh, joining us. So hello everyone. Hi Jen. All right. It's good to see you guys. Hi Melissa. Okay, so if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to give the thumbs up right now if you haven't already. Um, I appreciate that so much. While you're watching, you can automatically do that, and that helps like the YouTube thing like a lot. So um, thank you. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. I have some really, really cute cards to share with you this evening. Oh gosh, we have people from all over. I love seeing where you're all from. California and Michigan and Ohio. And I, uh, I think all over. Uh, yes, so hello, hello. Um, all right, it's been, it was a beautiful day here in Michigan. The sun was out, it was finally warm. And that made me happy. <laughs> Although the weather's changing, so a lot of um, like kind of like allergy stuff, all the things are blooming and everything finally. So hi Natalie from Idaho and Florida. Um, uh, Pat, I saw her. She said her video was frozen, but um, it's not frozen on my end, so it might be your connection. So hi, Carla from Kentucky. We have several people from California and Washington. I see Washington and Iowa. So hello, hello. Okay, so if you are uh, watching on YouTube, go ahead and click that thumbs up button right now while you're watching live. Um, I appreciate it so much. And give us a comment. Let you know where you're from. I see South Carolina is here. Um, hi, Deborah. Um, and if you're on Facebook, you can give me a shout out too, cause I will see that, um, also on my end as well. So I see Sharon is watching from Facebook. Hi, Sharon. All right. Tonight we are making three cards using one of my favorite new stamp sets from the new catalog. And that is the Zany Zoo bundle. It should be no surprise. If you guys have been following me, you know I like little cute things and animals. And so this is cute and animals. So I have three cards um, we're going to make tonight. Plus I have some other cards that um, I did a class a couple weekends ago for a bunch of demonstrators. So I'll show you those cards as well. But we're going to be featuring this suite and if you um, got any of your orders in last week for our virtual class, uh, the I paid to get my order early and it is coming tomorrow. And so your packages are already um, out on the table. I just need your gift. And then they will be shipped uh, hopefully tomorrow or, fr or Friday at the latest. So um, those will be coming um, if you ordered last week. And let me show you where this uh, suite of products is in the catalog because it's really, really cute. I'm going to turn my camera down. If any of you order um, this week, it's the same code, but um, anyone that orders over uh, $50, I always send you a free gift in the mail. It's usually a free embellishment of some type. And so um, that... Um, that's what I'm doing this week if any of you guys get any of your orders in. So that's the code. It's also linked right in this video. You can just click the link. The code is already attached and you can go shopping. We have a new catalog if you didn't know. Thank you for sharing also. That really helps me out. Um, thank you so much. Hi Joan and Val. 
Okay, so here is the suite of products we're going to use tonight. It's on page 46 and 47. It's called the Zoo Crew Suite. I want to do something really big with this. So let me know if you guys love it um, for card club or stamp camp or something like that. It's just really, really fun. Um, the bundle I'm telling you right now is on low inventory. It's because of the dies. So if you do want it, I would order it. Um, because the dies are probably going to sell out and then they'll might be a, a little bit before they come back. But everything else, everything is currently available. Last time I checked, I checked a few hours ago, it just said low inventory. So just a little heads up. But there's paper, um, there's a duo uh, ribbon combo pack, and then the bundle stamp set and dies. Now the dies are really fun. You can like build a stage. You can, there's all these, like there's trees and um, all these different things, plus they cut out several of the, the animals here. If you like the whole thing, you can get the whole collection over here for $78.50. All right, let me show you this paper, because the paper is so cute. So, so cute. All right, so first of all, it comes 12 by 12. Um, here's the first sheet. And so this will, the dies will cut out this, um, alligator riding the bike. I think that's it. We're actually going to use the fox today, but I already hand cut it out. But look at the on the scooters and the, oh my gosh, so cute. What is this? Is that an anteater? I don't even know. And then the back side of all the papers are black and white. So that's really nice also. Okay, this one, here's this sheet. And so they're partially, why did it, this just have a weird shadow all of a sudden? Um, this one has, um, so anyway, that's what I was saying. They're partially colored, so you can color them in more if you want or leave them just how they are. But again, this little raccoon cuts out with the dyes. Um, we're going to be using the dog today. He's so cute. Look at, why are there like lines? It's like from my actual light, like right above. So weird. And then the back is like these black and white stars. There, see, when I turn it over, it's like it's too white. Maybe we'll leave that down there. Okay, then the next sheet is, did I show this one? I don't think so. Look at this one. It's like it's too white. Um, there's the sloth doing yoga, the bear reading a book, the llama knitting, a little hedgehog painting. Um, so cute. And then the back is like these black and white squiggly lines. And then the music. We have this little music one where we have the turtle singing and the uh, frog playing the flute. And oh my god, look at these cute little animals. They're so fun. And then the back is little like polka dots. And then the hippo, we have the dancers right here. The hippo and the leopard and the lamb. And so this one will cut out with the dies as well. And then the back is like these little dashes, black and white. And then the last sheet is this one right here. So this is like kind of like the outdoorsy, the pig with a backpack, the little skunk with the binoculars, the lion like roasting a marshmallow, just really cute. And then the back is like little black and white flowers. So with the black and white, what you can do is you can take your blending brushes and you can add ink and like color these. Uh, if you don't want them black and white, you can add color. Um, or with sponges, or you can do lots of things with this as well, other than the front. Okay, so that's the paper. It's 12 by 12. It's super adorable. If you did the paper share, you'll get a chunk of it there. And then the ribbon is really, um, really nice also. All right, I have some cards to make. We have, thank you for the thumbs up. If you're watching the live on YouTube, if you could just hit that little thumbs up notification. Thank you so much for all of you who have. Okay, let's get into our first card. So, you guys, I cleaned, I cleaned my room. I, well, we cleaned my studio a couple weeks ago. And then this week I was finally able to clean the rest of my actual craft area. And, um, 
where I like my table and behind my table and pulled all my other retired stuff out and it is amazing but I feel like it's like almost harder for me to find stuff because everything is like put away that sounds like crazy but that's kind of the truth okay this light is driving me crazy I think it's too light let me just give me one second I'm going to there there we go okay yeah, it's, I have a light directly above me, and there's four bulbs, like LED lights. And so you are actually seeing the little lines are the four light bulbs, like, reflecting down on this surface. So this is not my actual tabletop. My tabletop is white, and it's glossy. It's just solid white. So I have this piece of wood. This is, like, an actual piece of wood that's, like, four foot by two and a half feet on top to kind of like mattify it so it's not white glossy tabletop. But sometimes with the, you know, like daylight savings and now that it's lighter, it just adjusts weird. So I do have a ring light on too. So sometimes I have to anyway adjust that when the seasons change and all that. All right, so here we just have a white, thick white card base, um, just like this. And next we have these pieces here. So I have a piece of pool party that is five and a quarter by four. And then I have a piece of that paper. It's so hard to cut up like the back because um, the front with all the cute little animals. But this is just a four by three piece and we're gonna glue that up there. And then I have a basic black that's one inch by four for here. And then we are going to use some ribbon because you guys know I love ribbon. And this is some pool party ribbon that got carried over. It is called Pool Party Grow Grain Ribbon 3 8 inch. And it's just really, really pretty ribbon. I love pool party also. And then we're going to be using these beautiful dots. They are called the Ombre Matte Decorative Dots. And so... Um, a lot of these colors coordinate with the paper really well. All right, so those are some of the things we're using on this card. Let's go ahead. And then I already went ahead and uh, cut out, I just fussy cut out this fox from the paper. So right here, remember I showed you the fox right there. He does not have a coordinating die, so I just took my uh, scissors and just snipped him out. We are gonna do a tad bit of coloring, but you don't have to. But we're going to color in his scarf, the seat, and the wheels. Okay, so we're going to just add this here, just like that. Hello, Patty. Hi, Christine. Hi, Alicia. Thank you for your thumbs up, your hearts, your comments, all the things. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. All right, my husband just walked in. If you heard a ding, like a doorbell in the background, I do this at my studio and we have a doorbell here that goes off because uh, it's a business. And um, so he had to go pick up our son who was at driver's training and got done early. So anyway, he got him and got him home and he is here back with me. All right, so got that. And then we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to wrap this around and tie a little knot. You could do a bow. I'm just going to do a little knot. All right. Okay, here we go. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for uh, joining me tonight for our cards we're gonna make. All right, so we have this. If you missed last week, check out that video because we made four different cards with four different uh, stamp sets and bundles and I love those cards. Like I said, if you got the orders, um, your things should be shipped tomorrow and Friday. They will be out in less than a week because the ordering ended on Sunday, so. We actually prepped all the kits on Monday, but now I'm just waiting for my order to arrive. I missed the ordering 
to the two day on Monday. So anyway, it's coming. Oh shoot, I forgot to punch out my circle. Darn it, that's what I was gonna do. See, my desk is just like so clean. I um, have my circle right here. So before we, before we put this uh, blue down, we were supposed to punch a circle out and then um, this designer paper was gonna hide it, but I forgot. So we gotta punch a circle out in pool party and it needs to be two, this is our new circle punch. But um, let me show you something. You might see this. So I have a friend. She's actually on here, Alicia, that works here a couple days a week. I have a few people that help me. And so this is like a little scrap bin. All, these, all this paper was literally stacked on my table. And like it looked like a hurricane came through. And I asked her to organize it by color. So do you see this? It's like fantastic now. Okay, so I'm just going to go and look for a pool party because, like, look at this. Here we go. Here is a pool party right here. And I'm going to punch out my circle since I didn't do it how I wanted to show you. And then we'll put that back in here and put this back all nice and neat. But, like, all the colors, all the colors are in here. Um, just like that. This is just, like, my little scrap We'll scrap. I'm going to put that back so I don't mess it up. Okay. So now, if I can just keep that all nice and neat, that would be that would be great. All right. So we have our circle here. Again, this is a new two and three circle punch. It does come in a bundle with the stamp set. Um, I just love the circles. All right. We're going to take our cute little fox. And before we put him down, let's color in his scarf with the new Lemon Lolly. Who is a big fan of the Lemon Lolly new ink color we just got? Let me know what you think of it. I love it. It's just a very cheerful, happy color. So I'm coloring the scarf in with the Lemon Lolly. And then we're gonna take Smoky Slate and I'm gonna color in the little seat. And then the little like handlebar I guess is what it's called in his nose uh, you could do black if you want it and then I'm just going to go around the outside of the wheel um, so there's that okay still waiting to get it Linda's still waiting to get something Probably her order. I'm still waiting to get my order that I placed like two and a half weeks ago too. The only way I get orders is because I just wasted a ridiculous amount of money to get them. Which I did for my card club because I have to get it out before I leave for my trip to Norway. So I'm just taking a deep breath and telling myself it is what it is because I don't want to come home and have to do that. All right, so there we are having some dimensionals here on the back of our paper. See, this is just the paper or the cutest little fox there. You could color it in more. I just did a tiny bit more coloring is all. And we're going to pop him on here. And then, again, you could pop it up, but I'm just going to add um, lots of adhesive. Do you see all that adhesive I just added? And I'm going to put this over here like this and stick it down. And then I have just a little scrap of a half inch white. And um, in, so in the stamp set, there is something great to celebrate you, your two wonderful and happy birthday to you. So those are all great. What I'm actually going to use is this wonderful thoughts. This is a new stamp set. I just really like this hello or there's like a thanks. I'm sure you have like all kinds of words. So just use whatever words you want. I just wanted a little word that said like hello. So, um, all right, so here's this and we're going to stamp that there. 
and let me see if my chamois, ooh, it's a little damp. So I bought a little spray bottle, but I for, keep forgetting to bring it back to my studio to actually use it. I just, well, I just bought it last night to be fair. So I just finally remembered to, to purchase it. So then hopefully that will help me keep my chamois um, like damp. And then like once a week I can take it down the hall to the bathroom and like rinse it out really good. Okay, so we have our little word and now I think I wanna make this one a banner. So I'm just gonna snip this. Thank you for all your thumbs up. Um, on both Facebook and your hearts. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can just hit that little notification thumbs up right now while you're watching. It helps like show the video to people. So that's why I keep saying that over and over again. So thank you. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page if you haven't already either. Oh, and we wanna, I see I put glue, but we wanna pop that up. Okay, so I'm gonna put a dimensional right over where I just put glue. Um, hello, 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 and then this, I'm going to trim down a little bit, and I'm going to put this, tuck this little hello over there, like that, but we're not done. Now we're going to come in with these really cool dots. And they're like, um, I don't know, but I'm going to guess Calypso or pumpkin pie, Calypso corally colors, Coastal Cabana pool party, Old Olive, and like some Night of Navy Misty Moonlight. So they're ombre. So these blues like look perfect on here. So I'm going to get my take your pick tool and I'm going to take just a few of these lighter ones and put, um, two of these up here and then a smaller one down here and there we go here is our cute little card let me know what you think so here's this one so it uses just a different little background up there so again really cute set you could use any animal from the paper or the stamp set that you like to create this let me know what you think of card number one with our zany zoo. All right, card number one, fox. Oh, cute card, cute card, cute. Hi, Shirley. Thank you, guys. All right, I'm gonna move that aside and go on to card number two. We have three cards today. Okay, I almost showed it to you, maybe you saw but I'm gonna wait till the end to show you. All right, here's card number three. So for this card, we are using Calypso Coral, not a color that I use all the time. We're also going to come into our paper here and um, I love this dog with the party like confetti and the what is it that little blow birthday blow horn thingy i think it's so cute so we're gonna punch that out with this um circle punch here but i gotta see i don't even remember i think i did a smaller one which i forgot to grab let me let me measure how big this is. It's about a two and a quarter. So you can use circle dies, um, or if you have any punches, you can use that as well. And sometimes you gotta cut down your paper a little bit to get in at the angle you want. So I have a, I'm just using a punch. It's two and a quarter. And I went over a little bit too much. Darn. He might be a little off center, but we're going to make a mark. Oh, he's okay. He looks good. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? All right. So there we got that. And now we're going to, I'm going to show you these other pieces we have. So we have a Calypso Coral card base. 
and then I have basic black and the basic black is five and a quarter by four. So this is kind of very similar to the other card, a little bit different. Then I have a three by four piece here. Here's the back side, like how cute. We're gonna use that. And a coral strip that is one by four. And then I have these pieces. The little star is green apple green and this is from the balloon, the balloon dies. What is the official name called? one we're using for card club this month. By the way, today's last day to join the card club or take it as a one-time class. We had like five people sign up, uh, join the club today. So don't miss out. Um, beautiful balloons dies. So that's where the star is from. And then the circle is from the stylish shapes and it has little like dots along the edges. So, but on this strip, we're gonna use these balloon dies also to do some fringe, okay? So if you ordered these dies, um, in your card club, then I'm going to pay extra money to order them tomorrow also <laughs> to get them to you. And um, this is in there, and I haven't showed this yet, but this is a really cool um, die. So what you're going to want to do is if you, uh, we're going to want to put it like this. So it um, cuts it's going to like make fringe. It's so cool. So let's do that. I did not do that ahead of time because I wanted to show you. I just have my little die cutting machine here. And we're going to put this on here like so. Put this over and run this through the machine. Sorry, it's, sh it's shaking a little bit. I'm trying not to make it shake. All right, and then when it comes out, um, well, I must have moved it. There's just all these little lines. I'm going to cut it so it has, like, the little fringe. Where did my dies go over here? We're in the process of um, labeling all the new we're going to be labeling all the new stuff so i'm just going to take a hair off the end because i should have positioned it a little different in there but anyway you can just trim it off that way too and then look at this now we have this cool little birthday like fringy stuff and you could do this in all different colors this would be perfect for that taco fiesta with like the pinata and stuff Oh my gosh, this is a really cool set of dies. I'm telling you, the birthday balloon bundle or whatever birthday is a great set. All right, so let's grab our pieces and put this together. All right, so kind of like our last card, the next card is kind of a little fun fold that we're going to do. I just want to show you different ways to kind of take your the same type of layout and change it just slightly. This one uses no ribbon but we kind of made this fun element with the die isn't that so cool and then um so, but it's basically the same as the other one i'm actually going to take my not so favorite glue just because i'm messy with it and just put a little thin piece across the top and then we're going to Oh, thank you for joining us from the Netherlands. Oh my goodness, I visited the Netherlands when I was 17 years old, back in 1997. <laughs> that was a long time ago. The summer of 1997. Uh, we were in Amsterdam, and then we went to uh, Belgium. Okay, so here we have, this is what we have so far. Isn't that really cool? So cool. I think it's cool. Just tell me you think it's cool to make me happy. <laughs> All right, now we can layer this to our card. And I'm so excited that I'm we're, we're going to Europe in less than two weeks. So uh, 
haven't been to Europe in a little bit. Okay, we're going to put this on our card now. We fly into London. So I'm going to try to be here next Wednesday for you guys. But um, All right, so there is that. Then we're going to take our cute little dog that we punched out of the paper. And I'm just going to add two dimensionals here. And we have Patricia from New York here. Awesome. So we have like all the, we have like a lot of states on here. That's so cool. All right, now we're going to grab our stamp set because this is totally a birthday card, right? Well, I guess it could be any celebration, but I'm seeing birthday. So we're going to stamp happy birthday to you. And we're going to use the black memento ink. And I'm going to stamp it on our stylish shape circle. Try saying that really fast. Um, that is like really hard. Okay. The fringe. I'm glad you guys love the fringe. The fringe is super fun. I really wanted to use it on our card club, but I just I could have made, I could have had you guys do it, but if you got the dies in the bundle, you'll have, you know, you will have them to create that. Okay, then we're going to add this little happy birthday down here. Happy birthday to you. We got our little star. That birthday set has two different stars. Plus, if you have the give it a whirl dies, which if you watch me, you probably have them. There's like more stars in there. So just have so much fun with this card. Okay, so here's what we have so far. If you can tell, the little confetti has all different colors. It has like blue and orange and green and yellow, which is perfect for our little matte dots. So, oh, we have lots of Florida people on here. Also, Penny and Laura, and I know Lori's on here. Um, so we're going to take some of these and... Oh, I guess that one kind of wants to go there, but I want it to go over here. There's one. And we'll take a blue one and put it there. And we'll take a green one. I'm taking all the bigger ones for these. Maybe it doesn't want to come. I'll take the little pokey side and we'll put this over here. Graduation, yeah, that would be a fun one too, for sure. So there's our card. Let me know what you think of that one, of this one, with the fringe. And you could do all kinds of colors. I just, I actually challenged myself to use Calypso Coral because I cannot tell you the last time I used that color. And um, I think the color in here is actually pumpkin pie. But again, it ties in with, with that also. But if in person you can see the fringe is actually like, kind of fringy. So that's, I hope you like that. Another, it's a fun, I think that's a really fun card. So there's that one. All right, no ribbon on that one. Sharon, my friend Sharon always teases me about the ribbon too. That's one, this one's for you, Sharon. All right. Yes. <laughs> the great thing about stamping on circles is you do always have it straight. Yes. Ah, uh, thank you. All right. So card number two. Now card number three. I have another card. And here we have it right here. So again, thank you for your thumbs up. If you're watching live right on YouTube, you can hit that button right now. Um, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. And it feels like it's taken me an eternity. So if you haven't subscribed, that would really make me so happy and help me so much. All right, here's the pieces for our next card. This is going to be a little fun fold card, but it's not going to be anything too crazy. Now, this is a card that I did for a class a week, not too long ago, a weekend, not this last week and the weekend before. So we made five cards. So this is one of the five cards that we made, but it's really cute and fun. So I wanted to share it with you. So we have basic black here. 
It's just a regular card base, eight and a half by five and a half. You're gonna go ahead and score it at four and a quarter. So just your regular card, right? Now on the front, we're gonna go in one inch and cut up to the middle score line on each side. So I love the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer because it has an inch over here on the right. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm lining it up at the inch and then I'm doing it from the bottom because it's just easier for me to see. And then I'm going to cut, make sure you cut all the way, why did it come off the track? All the way up to that score line and I can see it's right there so I'm gonna stop and lift up. So there we have one. And now I'm gonna do it on the other side. I'm just gonna flip it over. This time I'm gonna be cutting down. So it's lined up at the one and I'm gonna cut down to that middle line there, just like that. So there we have it. This is what it looks like now. And then we need to fold the center in half. You can score it. I'm just going to fold it in half this way. Like that. We're making a little easel type card. So this is, I don't know, this is what we have. Okay. So these two little flaps, we're going to add some designer series paper to them, which I have two little strips here. Um, and this is the back. Penny, I totally agree. I, that's what I was saying earlier. Like it's so hard to use the black and white side because of all the cute little animals and critters on the other side. I, I 1000% agree with you. Okay, this is, um, four inch by three quarter inch, and you're just going to add that on the side, and then do the same over here. In fact, when I show you these other cards, like this was the only black and white side piece I used because I couldn't, I couldn't physically use it. But now on these cards I did today, I did. Okay, now on these two little, they almost look like arms, we're gonna glue those down to the card. So, these little flaps on the ends. They get glue and then you're just gonna make sure they're lined up straight and glue them down like that. And then you have a piece, you're gonna want a piece of white, basic white, and this measures four inches by three and a quarter. And we're gonna put that in the center like this. I was like, I don't even know where my card went, <laughs> my original card. So this is so you have somewhere to write and on the black. All right, then we have these pieces right here. So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping and stuff. So isn't he so cute, this little raccoon? We're gonna color him in a little bit. Again, you don't have to I just, I just like it. So I'm going to use a smoky slate. It just, I just like it colored in more. So that's why I do it. And again, you don't have to, but it's just what I like. And then we are going to use the little dies. So again, he's in the stamp set. So you can make like a whole bunch of these. Um, and you run out, if you run out of the paper or whatever. I'm just trying not to go out of the lines. Right okay. And down here. Okay, and then we're gonna take the dark smoky slate. These are our alcohol markers, the blends. And on the little belly and the other area, we'll, we'll go in the dark there. Uh, if I can reach it. So this is my dark. Okay. I just don't want to get it in his eyeball. His eye. All right, perfect. And the balloons are already colored in, so we're good to go. All right, so let's grab our little machine here. And 
again, I always use with my mini die cutting machine plate three. It just works better for me that way. And then a clear plate to your paper. So grab your uh, zoo dies. I love when the dies coordinate with the designer series paper. You have your little die right here. You can put this on. I have this is just a little post it note tape so it won't wiggle. Put your top plate on and run this through. All right. And then here, look, it sticks so well. There we go. Here's our cute little raccoon. Always afraid when I say the wrong animal name, but don't worry if I do. I know somebody will correct me. I don't mean to. Sometimes you just say things you don't, like you know what it is, but the wrong thing just comes out. That's what happens when you're alive, <laughs> at least to me anyway. All right, on these two white strips, we're going to stamp some words. We're going to stamp um, just in the memento black. We're going to stamp happy birthday to you again. And that's going to go right there like that. And then on the uh, this little strip, we're going to stamp... Um, Something, 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 something great to celebrate you. So that's what we're going to stamp on this one. Just call them all critters. There you go. That's a good tip. Okay. The, um, what was it? The rhino I kept calling a hippo like a thousand times. It's like I did it one time and then that was the end of it. I couldn't stop calling it a, a hippo. All right. Okay, we're done stamping. Um, you guys know I really like to flick little splatters of ink in the background. And so I'm going to try to find a scrap piece of paper and do that with my Stampin' Blend markers. However, if you don't want to use your marker, you can always, you can always use re-inker and a water pen and like do that as well. Like just take like memento, re-inker at a drop, either in the cap or on a block, and then take a water pen and do the same thing if you don't want to use your marker. I just use them because I do all the time. I'm careful, I don't ruin mine. But if you're worried, do it that way. Um, and what I'm talking about are these. These, This is our old one, but the, the new ones are like this and just a clear barrel. You just add water and just put a drop of your black reinker, add a little bit of water, and then just put it in there and just flick it, and that will get you black ink there if you don't want to use your marker like me. Another demo called the ballerina a tiger and the comments exploded. Yeah, is, is she a leopard? Yeah, I believe it. Like people like flip out on you. I don't think they mean to, you know, I don't think that's their intent. But as somebody on the flip side doing the video, sometimes it can be very intimidating. And then you're like, oh my goodness, like <laughs> I just accidentally said the wrong thing. <laughs> um. So I can see that happening. On the little uh, something great to celebrate you, we're just gonna make that a little banner. Okay, this this card is actually very, very quick and f very quick to do. Um, although I don't think I did a very good banner right now. Uh, would that work with the new markers? Yes, it should work with any marker. Um, if you use the brushed end, and what I do is I gently drag the long side down the cap to get it to splatter like that. So you got to be careful if you're worried about 
you're going to ruin your marker, then don't do it and use the ink pad. Like squish it in the lid or add a drop of reinker and use those water painters like I showed you. That will give you the same effect as well if you're worried about that. I've been doing it for years and mine are fine, but I'm very careful with them, or I try to be. Uh, so hopefully that helps. Okay, we got a little banner here. We have, this is Coastal Cabana that we like flicked on the back. And then we have our happy birthday, okay? So the happy birthday, you can leave it solid, but sometimes you might not want it in like a clump like that. So what I did is I just like pieced it apart. So I just carefully took my scissors and I'm piecing it apart, kind of like trimming it down like really skinny. And then we're going to um, kind of add it on a little crooked and sideways, a little funky. All right, here we go. Let's put this together. We'll see all of it come together now. Okay, so on the front, this is the front. Remember, this is the front piece we have here. And then we just folded that in half, fold it in half. And then on this side, we're going to add this coastal cabana. And this measures three and a quarter by two. I think it actually should be like one and seven eighths. No? Yeah, maybe. I don't know if that's what I have, what I told you. Three and a quarter by two. And we're going to put this on here. The top has ribbon wrapped around it, so you can't really see the top anyway. But there's that. And then I took this gingham ribbon, which I love, and just put it along the top and tied a knot. You can skip this step. You can add black baker's twine. Um, it's I just love the ribbon. It's black and white. I think everyone should like ribbon. I know you don't. Not everyone does, so that's okay. You can omit it. This is, uh, it lays pretty flat and it's soft, so i just adding it. We also included this in the class. I use this on like all five cards, so I used it on this card too. All right, so there's that. Now your little something great to celebrate you. We're going to add two dimensionals, one on each side. Yeah, I, I laughed too when I like kept saying, um, you know, the wrong thing. But then I started getting flustered with myself. Like, why can't I like call this the right darn thing? It's like annoying. Like, it's like your brain just, I don't know, does something. All right, so there we go. And then if it's not sitting right, just give it a little crease like that. And there you go. Like, look at that. That's how it goes. But you can still chip it flat to mail it and then it just pops up like that. All right, now on this little piece, we're gonna take our little guy with a little critter, a raccoon, and we're going to uh, put this on, but you don't wanna put adhesive behind the balloons because it's gonna go over this little front flap, okay? So there's that. Okay, so this goes right here, this cute little guy. And then we have Happy. And then we have Birthday. And then to you. And so for these, I took um, like the mini dimensionals and I added it behind. But I don't know if I can reach mine. So you can just take a regular dimensional and cut it in half or use the edge. You can make it work. We're all creative people. All right, so I got the happy. I'm gonna go here. And here. Sometimes people, though, um, 
I mean, I know you're put, I'm putting myself out here doing videos and everything, but sometimes it's not very often, thankfully, but sometimes people can say some not so nice things to you too. So there's always that. And a lot of people might not see that because, but you know, every so often you get a not so nice comment. <laughs> All right. So there we have this. Isn't that so fun? And then you can finish it off with some fun little dots. Let's add some fun little dots. Let's add some, let's add, a, like on my other card I use rhinestones, but I'm gonna add green and orange, the orange and the blue, just like that. I'll show you the other one with the rhinestones. But there's our card. Isn't that so cute and so fun? All right. It just, it goes flat like that. So you can mail it. Again, don't put your adhesive there so it can go over the top. And then um, if you wanted to write more, you could add another white piece here. So you could um, write more. But then um, that just kind of holds that. So it sets up like that. So here is with the rhinestones. And did, you can color the rhinestones with the blends too. So there's, there's that. All right, so we made three cards. We did this card, the little easel card with the raccoon. We did the cute little dog with the, the fringe. And then we did the fox with the little scooter here. So those were the cards we made tonight. Now, this one, like I said, it, I did it for a class for a group of demonstrators. There was um, almost 60 people that took it. So um, I'll show you the other cards that they made because they were, like, super cute, I thought. So, again, this is, I was saying that I couldn't use the, the black and white side because I liked the critter so much. So you'll see I didn't really use that very much. So here's this one. You see the cute little uh, turtle singing, and he is stamped in a uh, die cut and then put on the paper, and the rhinestones are colored in with the green. Just sweet and simple card. The paper is so cute. And then we did this one, and again, I colored, these are the paper, but I colored them in the rest of the way, the hippo and the, this uh, leopard, hopefully I said that right, and then it just embossed the background. And then we have this guy, like he was on the same paper as this, um, and he's punched out and then layered, and then this is embossed. So there's that. He's like juggling cupcakes. And then we have this one. And so this, the alligator is actually stamped and colored. The balloons are die cut from the dies. And then there's little little rhinestones in the wheels, and it's so so it's so cute because there he is in the paper, but this one is actually stamped and like popped up. So those were the four other cards I made. I'll probably do a video showing these at some point um, for you guys to see like all the details. But I hope that you again, if you really love the Zany Zoo bundle, uh, just a warning I gave it at the beginning of the video. It was on low inventory. Um, this afternoon, it's the dies that are on low inventory. So I would order it sooner than rather than later. However, it's going to be around for at least a whole year, right? The catalog just came out, but the dies might sell out and they won't be available for a while. So, um, oh, a cheetah. Thank you. Cool. So that little cheetah ballerina. Um, so anyway, that is my little disclaimer with the Zany Zoo bundle. You're going to want to get it. It's so cute. The um, paper is adorable. 12, the 12 by 12 paper is just so cute with all the critters on there. And then look at these dies. I was going to use these and I didn't. But um, I can't wait to use these new dies. They're just like standalone dies with these little like little dots like the stylish shapes so be on the lookout I'm going to be using these soon and so these are called the nested essential dies I didn't use them today but I have them out they're on my desk ready to go so yeah and I hope you guys love these new dots they're really fun really great embellishment and would coordinate with a lot of um 
a lot of things. And then we also tied in the birthday balloon, beautiful balloon dies for the fringe and the star. Okay, let me pull up this and see if there's any comments. Again, if you wanna go shopping, here's the code you can use. I always send you a thank you gift um, if your order goes over $50 between shipping and tax and if you use that code. And so, um, so yeah, I will do that if you guys wanna go shopping. Um, Brenda said, such a cute bundle. Penny said this is the first suite that she bought. It was mine too. In fact, here's a funny story. I ordered the bundle just right away and then I ordered the paper and the ribbon. And then I did that class and I needed more of the paper. And so I, um, this was during our demonstrator pre-order. So I ordered the whole suite. But then guess what? Because that came with the paper and the ribbon and the stamp set and the die. So now I have an extra zany zoo um so yeah uh that was fun so the winner from last week i usually um comment on their comment so they would have gotten um they should have they get a uh, like when somebody comments um they would get notified that and then they have to email me their address to claim their prize so that's how um, the winners work from the drawing last week. Um, so yeah, I think I picked one from YouTube, but not Facebook. So that actually reminded me, I, I needed to go through, I need to go through and pick one from Facebook because I was going to do a winner from each, both YouTube and Facebook. All right, thank you for all your thumbs up, your comments. Thank you for supporting uh, my Stampin' Up. Um, Val, I must... Must have missed my email. Um, so uh, thank you for joining me. Today's the last day for Card Club and Paper Pumpkin. If you want to join either of those, it's the 10th. And I think that's it. I think that's all I have to share with you. Um, the virtual classes will be mailed out, uh, if you didn't see, uh, tomorrow and Friday. And we're just waiting for the your embellishments to come in tomorrow. And I plan to be here next week, uh, but I'm leaving next Friday for Norway. Uh, for the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. So hopefully I'll be here on Wednesday evening, but then the following week I will not be here. Okay, um, is there any? Yes, have a happy Mother's Day to all you uh, out there. Um, somebody said to pack, pack warm clothing and layers for Norway. It may get as low as 50 and windy there. I heard, actually heard that that's the high is like 50-ish, maybe maybe high 50s, low 60s. So I definitely will. Um, I definitely will plan that in a raincoat. So um, yeah, thank you for joining me, everyone. Have a great night, and I'll see you. I'll see you next week. Um, and hopefully I'll have a video, um, check out, did you check out the video, that's what I was going to say, about the ink pads. I have a video on how to label your ink pads, so you can check that out on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to try to do a video on my studio. Um, I never gave, after I like built this studio and we renovated it, I gave like sneak peeks up until I got everything in, and then I just had to start working. So I never um, gave it how I have it fully set up. And now that it's clean, it's the perfect time to do that so hopefully I can do that but I need somebody to help me because we got to like move the cameras all around all right see you guys later bye